Perfect. Okay, so to start, the first lecture that we're having today is on how to efficiently use CODE for the analysis of large scale codes that are comprised of multiple files. So going back to what we saw yesterday, a CODE will require the compiler invocation for each piece of the code that you want to analyze. And now the problem is that simulation codes usually contain a large, num a large number of files, which make, makes it impractical to analyze an entire project by file by file. And to this end, CODE supports the usage of compilation databases. Compilation databases are special files of a project that detail the compilation invocation for each file in the project. And this allows CODE to process this compilation database to extract the compilation command for each file and to generate reports aggregating the results for all the project. Now, this is an example of part of a compilation database. And as you can see, it's just a simple JSON file containing a, an array of entries. And for each entry, you can see that we have a certain file of the project as well as its corresponding compiler invocation, in this case, using GFortran, as well as other arguments. Now, the generation of the actual compilation database will depend on the build system that is used by the project. In the following demos and guided exercises, we will cover the scenarios using both, both CMake and MakeFiles. And for the case of CMake, the compilation database are supported by the tool. So we will just need to include this new flag, the export compile commands flag in the usual CMake invocation. Whereas for make files, we will need to use a third party tool that is available on Permuter and that is called Bear. And Bear will allow us to intercept all the compilation that is performed in the make files and extract the corresponding compile commands file. Now to actually use the compilation database with Kodi, we will need to just replace the usual dash dash compiler invocation part of the Kodi command line with a dash p or dash dash compile commands and the path to the compilation database. And so our suggested workflow when working with large scale codes will be to just follow the top down approach that we presented yesterday, going over the technical depth, the screening, the ROI, the checks and auto fixes when available, just replacing the usage of compiler invocations with the compilation database for your convenience. For, just to give you an example, we will see this code later. It corresponds to Haikon, a Fortran project. But in the top half of the screen, we can see how easy it is to generate the compilation database. We just use bear, dash, dash, and the usual make command of the project. And this will generate the compilation database, which we can see below that contains a total of 50 files. And now, as I was saying, using any of the Kodi reports with this project will be as simple as using Kodi, the name of the report, and point Kodi to the compilation database. It is, it is also important to mention that uh, for these scenarios, Kodi will show you a progress of the analysis over all the files of the project, so you can get a grasp on how everything is going. And in these scenarios, when analyzing projects with multiple files, you will also probably need to use the Kodi filters. We saw some of, some of these yesterday, such as the ability to filter results by file, by, by function, or by loop. But Kodi presents additional flags, such as dash dash lang or dash dash exclude, that will probably be useful in some scenarios. Now, remember that you will always have the ability to use Kodi dash dash help to get a full list of all the supported options to try what suits best for your scenario. And for, just to give you an example, if we wanted, for instance, to focus the analysis of Haikon, the project I was talking earlier that contains 50 files, to just focus on five of the files of the project, it would be as simple as using Kodi, the name of the report, the compilation database, and then write the five names of the files that we are interested in. And all of this is important because the compilation database is going to be the component that will allow you to use Kodi for the analysis of these real large scale projects, such as the one we can see on the screen. For instance, we can see now what would be the output for the screening report on WORF. We can see here that 
Code D was able to analyze over 500 uh, files containing almost 1 million lines of code. And all of this was made in just over one hour of analysis, reporting over 64,000 improvement opportunities. So just to end, uh, remember that this compilation database will be a crucial component to allow the, scale and the analysis of these large scale codes. And you will always need to identify which build system you are using to try to understand the corresponding way to generate the compilation database. And always it is advisable to always provide this compilation database to the analysis because the, this will allow you to generate complete reports using all the files in the project, as well as go from analyzing one file of the project to another without having to worry about retrieving the corresponding compiler invocations. And that would be all for this first, first small lecture. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. A uh, quick question. Yeah, sure. Can you go back a slide or two where you were showing the timing that one hour? Yeah, here. So that, that's one hour to do what? Like the whole workflow? That's one hour to analyze worth all the files that are contained in this project. How does it long? Uh, how does it? How long does it take to just compile WARF by itself without the analysis? Without the analysis, that's if a I good question for Namo. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you want to add something, Namo? Yeah. So, uh, compiling with eight cores takes about twenty minutes on Perlmutter. Okay, so it's it's substantial. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to know how you know. The percentage of time in the compilation versus the analysis of, of the code itself. Yeah, in any case, it is, it is worth mentioning that the code analysis is performed uh, single threaded. Uh -huh. So, in the future, it's always possible, it would be always possible to try to speed up mm -hmm. uh, the analysis by using multi threading. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the question.